Dr. Michael Corsell is here today. I want to talk to you about coffee. Is it good or bad? For the most part, the, the way people drink coffee nowadays, it's a bad thing. You know, for the good thing uh, regarding coffee, it's a great antioxidant. Antioxidants are a good thing. But the way we rely on coffee every day, the amount we drink every day, um, it's a bad thing. We have this great uh, natural response in our body called the uh, adrenaline response or the fight or flight response. Think of uh, if you're, you know, they always give the example, you're gonna, if you're being attacked by a bear, you're going to fight or run away. You get that adrenaline, a surge of adrenaline in the body. You get adrenaline um, being secreted by the adrenal glands and cortisol as well. Uh, the issue is with if you have that chronic, uh, the adrenaline response on a chronic, uh, it's chronically on, it's turned on all the time. You're chronically in an alarm state. That's not good for the body. The body really can't keep up if it's chronically being stimulated by a lot of stress. It can't keep up with a chronic fight or flight response all day long. Um, now there's a great study that compared two groups of folks off caffeine or on caffeine. Uh, the first group had zero caffeine on the uh, for five days. On the sixth day then they got some caffeine and they measured their cortisol and adrenaline response on the sixth day. The second group um, they had caffeine uh, for five days straight on the sixth day they had the caffeine the same amount of caffeine just like that first group on that sixth day and then they measured the cortisol and uh, adrenaline response in their blood in the samples on the first group with no caffeine they had a great adrenaline response on that sixth day when they got some caffeine uh, cortisol spiked up that's the natural response on the group though that had caffeine on a daily basis and then they got that caffeine again on the sixth day when they measured cortisol response that stress response they didn't have a response. So that's essentially what happens when, if you realize that you're having coffee every day and you're like, man, this coffee is not as effective anymore. I'm not getting as much energy. I'm not as productive, not as focused. Focus. Now I gotta make that single shot and a double. Uh, I, I gotta get a second cup of coffee or a third cup of coffee to get going. Now I hear this a lot. They, a lot of folks think, you know, coffee used to work, but now I think I'm just building up a tolerance of coffee. What's really happening, in, happening is that you're just not having the same adrenaline response. That alarm response is just not there anymore. With the amount of stress we got going on in our modern lifestyles, the body just cannot keep up. So you, you artificially will try to stimulate it to get that uh, alarm state with caffeine use. But over time, if you keep continually to put your body in that alarm state, the body cannot keep up. You're not going to get that same adrenaline response. So, sorry coffee, coffee lovers. Coffee is okay periodically, but if you're relying on every day or in a few times a day, that's just doing your body a bad thing. So as best as you can, try to get out coffee. It's okay periodically, but if you're relying on it every day, you got to give those adrenal glands a break. Do green tea instead, a little bit of caffeine, but not nearly as much compared to coffee. Um, focus on green tea, herbal tea, water, anything else that's going to make you more stimulated uh, during the day and give you more energy. And those are basic things like good sleep, proper sleep, uh, stress reduction, a gr good diet and exercise, all that stuff. So hope this helps and, uh, and I'll talk to you guys later.